From countries as tiny as a park to cities with the funniest names ever, geography doesn't have to be boring. There are phenomena around the world that lead to strange consequences, and sometimes these consequences end up being quite silly. So join us as we begin our eight minutes of silly geography facts that are guaranteed to put a smile on your face. Australia has pink lakes. Lake Hillier in Australia is one of the most magical phenomena in nature. Located in the largest Recherche Archipelago Island, Middle Island, this bubblegum pink lake looks like something from another world against the rich green of the steep coastline ridges and the ocean's deep blue surrounding it. About 600 meters long, the color of Lake Hillier has not changed in any way. Even if water is collected in a container, it remains as impressive as ever. Scientists attribute this unique hue to the presence of Dunaliella salina microalgae. These tiny beings are known to produce produce beta-carotene, which is a red pigment that forms part of their photosynthesis process. The highly saline environment serves these tiny beings a great deal, yet many other tiny beings might as well contribute to the pink color brilliance of the halophilic bacteria resident in the salt crusts. Surprisingly, however, the lake water is safe for swimming despite being incredibly salty. However, for the protection of the delicate ecosystem, access is limited. The tiniest island ever. Just Room Enough Island, part of the Thousand Islands in the St. Lawrence River, New York, is a remarkable piece of real estate. Also known as Hub Island, it holds the title of the smallest inhabited island in the world, spanning just 3,300 square feet. Purchased by the Seisland family in the 1950s as a vacation retreat, the island features a house nearly the same size as the island itself, leaving room only for a small beach, a couple of trees, and a bit of outdoor seating. The proximity to the water means that during high tide, waves lap right at the foundation. This tiny island offers a unique perspective on living space, demonstrating how people adapt to and make the most of even the smallest of areas. It's a popular destination for curious tourists exploring the Thousand Islands region. The Dull and Boring Villages of Scotland Dull is a quaint village in Perth and Kinross, Scotland, known for its whimsical partnership with Boring, a town in Oregon, USA. This amusing twinning began in 2012 as a humorous effort to boost tourism and local pride. Dull, home to around 85 residents, boasts picturesque Scottish countryside and historic sites, while Boring, with a population of about 8,000, is known for its tranquil suburban atmosphere. Every year on August 9th, the two towns celebrate Dull and Boring Day, attracting visitors with their quirky charm. This unique pairing has inspired other humorous collaborations, such as the League of Extraordinary Communities, which includes Bland in Australia. The twinning showcases the community's sense of humor and creativity, turning their unremarkable names into a distinctive tourist attraction. Canada's Gazillion Lakes this country is like the world's most enthusiastic lake collector, boasting a massive number of lakes, more than any other nation on Earth. We're talking around 2 million lakes here, people. That's 7.6% of Canada's land mass just being out there as lakes. Over 31,000 of these are large enough to cover more than 3 square kilometers each. The biggest one has to be Lake Superior, which Canada shares with the U.S., and which holds the crown for the largest freshwater lake by surface area in the world. So, how did Canada end up with this aquatic bounty? Thank the last ice age. Those glaciers were like nature's bulldozers, carving out basins and filling them with meltwater. These lakes aren't just pretty to look at, they're ecological powerhouses, supporting a diverse array of fish, birds, and other wildlife. Plus, they're a playground for recreation, a source of drinking water, and a hydroelectric power generator, making them key players in Canada's economy and culture. Hell on Earth! This is a real place on Earth in Norway. Believe it or not, there's a tiny village in Norway with a name that's the punchline of many jokes. Hell is nestled in the municipality of Stjordal, about 30 kilometers northeast of Trondheim, and it's home to around 1,500 souls. The name Hell comes from the Old Norse word heller, meaning overhang or cliff cave, so it's not as devilish as it sounds. This scenic spot, despite its ominous name, is a beauty with stunning natural landscapes. One of its star attractions is the Hell Railway Station, complete with a sign that proudly proudly declares, hell. Tourists can't get enough of taking photos here, especially when winter rolls around and hell freezes over. Hell even has an annual blues festival, funnily named Blues in Hell, which draws music lovers from all over. The village's name might have brought it more fame and visitors than its size would suggest, proving once again that sometimes a little hellish charm can go a long way. The tiniest country in the world. 
Monaco is this tiny titan of a country that is the second smallest in the world, right after Vatican City. It's so small that at just 0.78 square miles, it's more petite than New York City's Central Park, which is a sprawling 1.31 square miles. Perched on the French Riviera, Monaco is the ultimate playground for the rich and famous, with wealth dripping from every corner and casinos that would leave you stunned. Now, despite its tiny size, Monaco has a population density that would make anybody jealous. Over 38,000 people call this place home. The principality is neatly divided into four traditional quarters, Monaco Ville, La Condamine, Monte Carlo, and Fontvieille. And boy, does Monaco know how to make money. Its economy thrives on tourism, banking, and real estate, all helped along by the fact that it doesn't charge income tax. No wonder the global elite flock here. The annual Monaco Grand Prix, a glittering Formula One race, and the ever-glamorous Monte Carlo Casino are major magnets for visitors. Don't let its size fool you. Monaco packs a mighty cultural and economic punch, even if it's tinier than you could imagine. Denmark's pigs outnumber the people. Denmark has a peculiar statistic. It has more pigs than people making it a perfect place to explore this culture. Currently, the estimated population of the area is about five. Meat, and especially pork-loving Denmark houses over 12 million pigs, despite being a country of approximately 8 million inhabitants. Pork is one of the most widely consumed meats globally, and Denmark is among the biggest global pork producers and exporters, making pig farming a critical sector in the nation. Denmark's annual exportation of pork products stands at about 90% and they supply pork to various countries in the world. Another factor on the side of Denmark is what is often referred to as surplus. Nothing could be closer to the truth than pigs in a pork-loving country. A capital with no traffic lights. While witnessing the natural beauties in Palau, one must know that this beautiful country's capital Ngerulmud does not have traffic lights at all. Currently situated on the island of Babeldaub, Ngerulmud was declared as the capital in 2006 after replacing the previous capital, Koror. The island itself is not large and possesses a rather low population density, and the inhabitants are roughly 18,000 in number. Something as simple as no traffic lights can be attributed to the relaxed and sleepy atmosphere that is associated with Ngerulmud as part of Palau. It is crowded. The community uses rudimentary road standards for getting around. Driving is thus a very relaxing affair. Post office on boat. In Srinagar, India, there is a post office that is located atop a boat in the Betul Dal waters. In this quaint wooden houseboat, built in the common design of a Malay village houseboat, one can get all the post services needed on the water, and the boat is situated on the pristine lake. It was established in 2011 to provide postal services to the people of Oman, as well as the visitors hence. Operates as a post office, proffering sales of postcards and stamps. This shall be discussed under the following subheading. It is therefore important to point out that the use of a floating post office is a part of Srinagar's tradition, which underscores the innovativeness of the people of Srinagar. Dal has now gradually become a commercial center, which turned this lake into a tourist site to attract people's interest in the beauty of Dal. Sudan has more pyramids than Egypt. Although popularly associated with Egyptian culture, the city of Mero in Sudan has more pyramids than Egypt. In the opulent ancient city, now an archaeological site and the former capital of the Kingdom of Kush, there are approximately 200 pyramids. These were constructed as tombs for royalty and the high profile between 300 BCE and 350 CE. While the ones in South America do not resemble in their size and slope the Egyptian structures, they are of the same historical and archaeological importance. Mero's pyramids are built with sandstone, however, they are thoughtfully carved and are covered with hieroglyphics. It is a world heritage site, and it provides an offbeat offering of comparatively less explored pieces of the actual Nubian history. So, those were all the silliest geography facts I had for you today. Let me know which of these facts was truly the funniest for you. Here's another video you can watch if you enjoyed this one. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. 